everyone, I'm back! So in our previous tutorial, we were able to solve for our resultant vector using the Pythagorean theorem. Now on this tutorial, we're going to solve for our x and y component using the sine and cosine laws. So what are we waiting for? Let's start now! The lesson for the day is about adding vectors. In this video, let us solve for the x and y component. So what if in the problem, you were given only a resultant and you do not know what are the different components on that resultant? For example, let's have this one. So I'm going to write here a Cartesian plane. So we have here for the north, south, west, and east. Now what if in the problem, amula ni isa ang given taho? We have F sub R, which is 105 newtons, there, 37 degrees north of east. Okay, what if amura na siya ang given? Ano ang pangitaon ta? We're going to look for the x and y component. So let's have here f sub x and f sub y. So sila na ang ato niya pangitaon. Imagine, hahanapin na natin yung x at saka yung y. Pangitaon tang imong x. Kag pangitaon tang rason kung nga ginbayan kasi yung imong x. Amo na siya. Okay. So let us draw or plot in the Cartesian plane ang aton given resultant. So let me have it here. So let's say this is 37 degrees there. By the way, for you to get the exact um, angle, if you have protractors, you can use that one. Okay? So, muni siya sa aton nga. Given. So, this is for the F sub R. And this is 105 newtons. Yan. Okay. So, we have here north of east. Di na siya si north of east. Maghamba ka north of east, ang imong direction halin sa east, nagkadto siya sa north. So, dirita na siya butang. Halin sa east, nagkadto siya sa north. And amunin siya ang imo nga 37 degrees. Now, if na notice nyo kagina, ang ginpangita ta is this one. And given ang aton nga x and y component. Okay? Now, this time, pangitaon ta naman ang aton diri nga mga components. So, we have to make sure gid nga makakreate kita later sa right triangle. So, paano ito na siya himuon? We're going to use our sine and cosine laws. Okay? So, for us to get the value of our f sub x, let us have here, this is for the x component. f d cosine theta. Okay, we have here the d cosine theta. This is for the f sub x. 
And this is what we're going to use to get our X component. Now, how about our Y component? Magkuha naman kita sa Y component. Let us have here F sub Y is equal to D sine theta. Again, we have here D sine theta. Okay? So, paminsarun mo lang. Laging mong isipin, pag hinahanap mo yung X, tanungin mo kung ano ang cos. Bakit kanya iniwan? Kapag kayong Y, isipin mo, ano ba yung sign? Bakit niya ako iniwan? Bakit? Amuna siya. Ang aton nga, sign and cosine loss. Okay, now that we already know what equation to use, let us solve for our X and Y component. Now let us start with our X component. So we have your F of X. Or F sub X, rather. So, ano ni siya si D? So, D stands for the magnitude. Ano nga magnitude? Ang magnitude sa imo nga given nga vector. Okay? So, sine and cosine, these are our functions. Okay? And then, how about the theta? I know most of you kilala nyo na si theta eh. This is your angle. Okay, yun. So, let's go to F sub X. So, D, or yung ating magnitude is 105. Yan. Lagay lang natin dyan, Newton. Okay. Lagay natin si cosine. Copy lang si cosine. And then, substitute pilang angle that is 37 degrees. 37. Yan. Simple as that. And now, let us encode it in our calculator. So, we have 105 cosine parenthesis 37 degrees. So, there we have 83 .80. 6 newtons. Yan. Amo na na siyang imong f of x. Amo lang na siya. Nakita mo na yung cos. Kung bakit umalis si x at nahanap mo na yung x mo. Yan. Okay. Now let us have here our why? Hahanapin natin yung mga signs. Bakit? Bakit iniwan ako? Okay. Now, we have here our F sub Y. Y o oh Y? So, we have here our D for the magnitude. Amo na siya. We have 105. Copy the sign. And, oh, by the way, um, let's have here our unit. Yan. 105 newtons. Sign. Substitute your theta, your angle. 37. Yan. F sub y natin. Kung kagina, cos, ang ginagamit mo, diri, sign naman. So, same lang yapon. 105, sign. Sign naman i-press. 37. That's it. We have 63... 0.19 newtons. Ayun. Nakita mo na yung bakit. Bakit kanya iniwan? O yan. Nahanap ko na yung x. Nahanap ko na din yung y. Now, anong gagawin natin? Let's plot it. Let's plot those components in our partition plane. So, here it is. This is for the y. Yan, this is for the y. Miss, paano ko mabalaan ang direction niya, miss? Siyempre, di ba? Ang bako kagina. Ang aton yung resultant, ang last niya nga, arrowhead, 
ang last nga, ang arrowhead sa last nga vector, kinang na nag-connect na sila nga duwa sa imo nga resultant. There. And of course, for your x, or for your first component, kinang na nag-head to tail method na sila. There. So, we have here our f sub y. Pila siya? 63.19 newtons. And for the f sub x, this is 83.86 newtons. Yay! So, there it is. That's how to get the x and y component of a particular vector. Usually, ginagamit ni siya if ang given nga vector is not lying on the x or the y axis. Okay? Ginagamit ni siya if ang given nga vector may anggol siya yung adaan. So, that's it for x and y component. Okay, so for us to further understand on how can we get x and y component, let us have another example here. So a force of 400 newtons is 30 degrees above the horizontal and to the right. So what are the horizontal and vertical components? Now let us have here our given. So, we mentioned there the unit ng newton. So, therefore, we are going to deal here with the force. So, lagay ko na dito si force. Yan. Lagay ko na si FR. Okay. So, we have 400 newtons. And 30 degrees ang iyang um, angle. So, according to the problem, by the way, let's have here first our Cartesian plane. Para mas makita tagad. Now, according to the problem, this vector is located 30 degrees above the horizontal. So, this is our horizontal line. Let's have there our directions. Okay. So, again, this is our horizontal line. So, according sa problem, ara siya kuno sa babaw or above, 30 degrees above sa horizontal. And the in siya, ara siya sa right. So, where is the right? Ay di siya. Ara siya na yun sa east. Okay. Again, ara daw siya above the horizontal to the right. So, this is the right side. So, meaning ara siya sa east nga side. So, this is for our 30 degrees. Let's have your 30 degrees. Yan. Let's have here the red pen. Para mas makita ito siya. Yan, there it is. So, this is for the F sub R. And this is for 400 newtons. And this is for our angle. This is 30 degrees. Now, what we're going to look for here is the vertical component and as well as the horizontal component. It means that ang pangitaon ta si X and Y na naman. So, base, matingala, paka mo nga ha, nga, miss na ka move on, na kuya nga, ang pangitaon ta pa ng X ko. Okay, pero kung mag-ara kita gani sa vectors, wala ka mo choice, pangitaon nyo gina ang X nyo. Kag siyempre, pangitaon nyo man ang rason eh. Ang rason ko nga, yun bayaan ka ka X mo. Y. X, Y, X. Yan. There. Okay. So, hahanapin na natin yung x at y nyo. So, for our horizontal, so this is the horizontal, meaning, if amunin si horizontal, siya niyang aton nga, 
f of x ang aton horizontal ang aton nga vertical siya ni ang aton nga f sub y okay so unahon ta pangita si x naton ulihita lang hibaloon kung di ina to ang mga y's okay so let us have here for our x component There. So f sub x is equal to d cosine theta. Yan. Okay? So substitute. Pilang magnitude 400. 400 newtons cosine pila si theta 30. Solve calculator. 400 Cosine 30. Yan. We have 346.41 newtons. Nakita mo nang imo nga x. Okay. Yan ka na pala x. Nahanap na kita. Now let's have your y component. This is for the y component. F sub y is equal to d sine theta. Pila ang imo d, pila si uh, magnitude mo, it's 400 newtons. Copy the sign. Substitute si theta. So we have there 400 sine 30. And that's 200 newtons. Makita mo na rin yung y. And so you're done. Tapos ang laban. 200 newtons and this is 346.41 newton. Chan! And we are done. Let me give you another example. So, we have here a force of 1,000 newtons is directed along the direction 60 degrees north of west. So, we're going to find the components of this force along the west and north direction. So, let us write down our given. So, let's have your F sub R. And this is 1,000 newtons. Grabe naman kalakas ang zero, pero it's fine. It's still 1,000. Dama na. Okay. This is 60 degrees north of west. Yan. Okay. Now, we're going to look for our F sub X and F sub Y. Basi matingala ka mo ha. Miss, naka-move on. Ako bala nga. Permit na naginiya, ginapangita si X ya. Yeah. Kapoy na kuya bala sa akong niya, x. So, in vectors, wala tayong choice. Hahanapin natin yung mga x nyo. Okay? So, yan. Now, let us plot. Plot, plot, plot. Uh, we're given in a Cartesian plane. So, here. So, again, it is very important. Nakabalo ka mo mag-drawing sang inyo given sa Cartesian plane because Cartesian plane will help you to identify kung ano ginabalaihan kalayo or kalapit ang direction sang inyo nga given or vector. Also, this will help you to indicate um, if your components are on the west, on the east, or north and south in the direction. So, um, muna siya ka important. Yan. So, let's indicate here north, south, west, and east. Yan. Okay. So, we have here 100 newtons. And sinasabi dito na 60 degrees north of west siya. So, meron tayong north, meron tayong west. 
Pero, ang gin-indicate dyan is north of west. It means that from west, it is going north. Halin siya sa west, makadto siya sa north. So, let us have it here, our given. So, let's say this is 60 degrees. 60 degrees, and we have here our 100 newtons. It, sorry, it's 1,000 newtons. So, we have there, nagay natin F sub R, and that is 1,000 newtons. Yan. Okay, so let us plot our F sub X and F sub Y. So, this is for the F sub X. Let's look for the F sub X and F sub Y. So, dito si X, na dito si Y, na dito sila. So, label lang F sub X, tsaka F sub Y. Yan! Okay! So, on what direction is our angle? So, from west going to north because we have north of west. And this is for our reference angle. And this is 60 degrees. Now, let us solve for our x and y component. So, let's have your x component. X component. So, let's give partition kay para hindi magtalang. Y component na siya. So, for our X component, we have F sub X D cosine theta. O, di rin naman ta sa Y. F sub Y D sine theta. Yan! Yan na yan na yan. Okay. Now, please take a look on our angle there. And also on our um, given. Take note na si angle tsaka si given is located on the second quadrant. Now, going back to our um, previous discussions, Diba? Hambal ni Miss. If we're going to have our angle, we must, we must, we must, we must follow the counterclockwise direction. So, from this positive x, kinala naga-counterclockwise direction kita. Okay? Again, naga-counterclockwise direction kita. And, amuna siya perming a direction ng aton nga, i-follow. Okay? I follow tagina siya. Now, so from east to west, we're going to have 180 degrees. Okay? We have 180 degrees. But then, may nagbalik nga 60 degrees. Now, anong himuon ta? So, let us have it here. For our angle in quadrant 2, Take note na i-minus ta na siya ang aton nga reference angle kay 180. Nga aga ni again because nakalocate ang aton na vectors sa second quadrant. Amo na siya ang rason. Okay. Now, ano na siya ang himuunta sa iyang answer later on? In looking for the x and y component, we must follow the counterclockwise direction, not the reference angle. Again, in looking for the x and y component later, we must follow the counterclockwise direction ng angle, not the reference angle. Okay, so let us subtract the values. We have 180 minus pilang atun ng reference angle. We have 60. So 180 minus 60 is... 120. And this is now for our angle. So, di ina siya si 120. Siya ni hu. This is for our 120 degrees. And, siya ni nga 
ang gol ang isubstitute na di karon. Now the question is, paano ko miss ma-justify karon nga inchakto ang akon nga ginagamit nga ang gol? Take note nga si North nagalay na siya kay positive y axis. Okay? And then si West nagalay na siya kay negative x nga axis. Okay. Now at the end of your calculation to prove that your answer is right, you have to make sure that if magkuha kita karon sa aton nga f sub x, it should be in negative. Okay? Naka negative dapat ang iyang sign. Why? Because ay di siya nagalay sa negative x nga axis. Now how about the y component? Later as we solve for our y component, we have to make sure na positive ang value niya. Why? Because it is lying on the positive y nga axis. Si North na sa positive y siya na axis. So there. Now let us try to check our answers there. So we have here our f sub x. For our d, we have here our magnitude which is 1000. So just simply substitute. Then let us have their cosine. Pilang angle na gamiton, it is 120. So we should have their 120. So on our calculator, let us um, encode the values. We have 1000 cosine 120. So there we have negative 500 newtons. And this is for our F sub X. Yeah, nakita na natin si X mo. Okay. Now let's have our F sub Y. So for our F sub Y, substitute the values. We have 1000 here. Newtons. Sign. What's the angle? It's 120. 120. So let's have here 1000 sine 120. So we have 866.03 newtons. And this is now for our F sub Y. Now if you can see, we already have here our F sub Y and F sub X. Okay? Now, Miss, the question is, did I came up um, with the correct solution? Did I um, have the correct answer? Now, let us take a look on our Cartesian plane. Again, humble ko kagina, we have to make sure nga naka-negative ang atong value ni f sub x kay it is lying on the negative x on the Cartesian plane. The same with our um, f sub y, kinangla naka-positive siya kay tungod ara siya sa positive y naga tong tong okay now kung lantawon ta ay han nagnegative ang aton x or wala nagnegative siya so meaning in chakto ang aton nga ginagamit nga angle same with y chakto man kita now let us write the values on the cartesian plane so let us have here for our f sub y we have 866.03 Newtons. So, that's it. Yan. Amo na siya. Now, how about for the F sub X? Let us have here 500 Newtons. Miss, I have another question. Bakit nag 500 Newtons na lang da siya? Okay? Bakit, Miss? Kay pag-calculate ko, Miss, it is negative 500. Why is it that when it comes to the Cartesian plane, it is positive na? Take note, this negative sign will indicate the direction of your vector. So, if naka-negative yung f sub x mo, it means that it is lying on the negative x-axis. If naka-negative x, uh, naka-negative value yung f sub x mo, it means that it is lying on the west or it is facing on the west direction. Now, miss, bakit positive dito? Wala siyang negative. It is because we have here the arrow. And on this arrow, we have the arrow head. Now, this arrow head will indicate the direction of your vector. So, bisan, wala na siya negative. 
since may ara siya diri arrow which is facing to the west or which is facing on the negative x na axis, it's fine and it's still correct. Nga mag 500 newtons na diri. And amo kita, amo kita sini magsulat sa values in a Cartesian plane. Again, what if wala na di siya sa arrow? You have to indicate na naka-negative yung value mo dire. I hope that that's clear. Okay? So, that's it. So, let us have here another example. So, using an inclined plane, a box is being displaced 9 meters at an angle of 50 degrees west of south. So, find the displacements of the inclined plane horizontally and vertically. So, um, let us try to have here our illustration using our Cartesian plane. It should be D sub R. Yan. D sub R na ito na siya. Si doctor, hahanapin natin yung doctor. At saka, yeah, siya nga pala nakita na natin si doctor. Hahanapin natin yung mga assistant. Okay? So, there we have 9 meters. This is 9 meters. 53 degrees west of south. So, it means that from south yung angle, pumunta siya ng west. So, let's have this one. So, we have our Cartesian plane here. So, let us have this. Yan. So, lagay muna natin dito si D sub X tsaka D sub Y because we're going to take a look on the, those values. Yan. Okay. So, according to the problem, we have their 9 meters. And we're going to deal with the south, west of south. North, south, west, and east. West of south. So it means that from south, pumunta siya ng west. And that's 53 degrees. So yan. This is 53 degrees. So, let's say this is the 53 degrees. And this is 9 meters. Yan. This is 9 meters. D sub R. This is 9 meters. And this angle. Yan. From south going west. This is our reference angle. Yan. This is 53 degrees. 53 degrees. So what we're going to look for is, of course, let us look for our X and Y component. So muna siyang ato nga. Gamiton. So, paano to na siya himuon? So, this is for our X and Y component. So, here we have, let's use the block ball pen para mas kitaon siya. Yan. Okay, already nga ito angle. Or reference angle, kinang lang, diri man kita mahimu sa right triangle. Yan! So, there it is. Now, take note that our vector here is located on the negative x and the negative y na axis. So, later on, as we solve for our x and y, 
values, it should be in negative sign. Later. Magsuma kita. Okay? So, let's solve. So, we have for the x component and for the y component. Yan. So, we have your f sub x, or oh, sorry, we can use d sub x because we're dealing with, this is d sub x, I'm sorry. We're dealing with displacement. So, d cosine theta, and we have your d sub y, we have d sine theta. Okay, now... Before we solve for our x and y component, let us take a look on here, on our Cartesian plane. Take note that the vectors are located on the third quadrant. Again, we're going to follow the counterclockwise direction. Now, from east going to west, we have here 180 degrees. And we are following here the counterclockwise direction. Take note na wala tayong angle dito. If you can see. Okay? Wala tayong angle dyan. Nandito yung angle natin. Now, from east, going to north, 90. Pumuntang west, 90. Pag pumunta siyang south, following the counterclockwise direction, we have 270 degrees. Yan. Now, let us continue this one. Meron tayong 220, uh, 70, sorry, degrees. But then, pumunta siya dito, oh. Yan, ganyan. Dapat meron siyang 270, but the thing is, may bumalik na 53 degrees. So, what are we going to do? May bumalik na 53 degrees. Bakit siya bumalik? Kasi naka-clockwise direction yung arrow dito, not in counterclockwise. Okay? Naka-clockwise yung direction niya, not in counterclockwise. Pagka naging clockwise yung direction ng angle, ang gagawin natin is, isa-subtract natin yan sa ating angle na counterclockwise. But if yung angle ay sumusunod, sumusunod siya sa counterclockwise direction, ipa-plus natin yan. But on this case, it's in opposite direction. Again, this is in opposite direction. This is in counterclockwise, papuntang 270. Sa subtract natin to si 50 degrees 53 degrees so we have there 270 minus 53 degrees okay so there let us solve 270 minus 53 degrees we have 217 degrees yan so this is now for our angle okay so nasaan yung 217. Yung 217, ito siya. Ito si 217. From here, going here. Nandito si 217. That's simple. So, I'm just going to label that one. Here. This is our theta, and that is equal to 217 degrees. And this value is what we're going to use. This value. Okay? Now, let's solve for our x and y component. Okay? Now, let's have here. Yung magnitude natin is 9 meters. 9 meters cosine what angle to use? It's 217. Yan. So, let's have here 9 cosine 217. So, we have 7, negative 7.19. 
negative 7.19 meters. That is for the D sub x. So we have negative value for x component. Next, let us have the y component. So 9 meters sine, what's the angle? It's 217. So let's solve 9 sine 217. So we have negative 5.42 meters. And this is for the D sub Y. So if you can see, our X and Y values are having negative signs. Okay, so this will just give us a proof that we got the right angle and also we got the right process. So this is it. Let me label this one for D sub X. Bakit siya D sub X? Because naka-horizontal siya. Siya yung nasa x-axis natin. It's 7.19 meters. And this is for our D sub Y. This is negative 5.42 meters. So, yan. Oh, sorry. It should be 5.54 meters. Pag ito lang yung ginagamit natin, it should have negative sign because again, our negative sign here will indicate the direction. But if we're going to write it on the Cartesian plane, um, it is understood na nasa negative na sila nga part, it's because of the arrowhead. So our, um, the direction of the arrowhead on our Y component is going downward. So it means that it is going south or it is going to negative y axis. Next, for our d sub x, it is going to the west or it is on the negative x axis. So that's it. So I hope that you understand on how to solve for our x and y component. And that's how to solve for the x and y component. So see? Kabalo ka na kung paano pangitaon si X mo and si Y mo. Okay. Now, I hope that you already know how to solve for the following resultants or following components in our vectors. So, thank you so much for watching.